today's mission? Fine tune the engine of my sim rig. Welcome to another video on virtual motorheads. Now you might think, huh? you bought yourself a PC case. What does that have to do with sim racing? Well, my friends, it's got everything to do with sim racing. Whatever goes into that chassis, that is what drives your sim rig. Without it, there will be no racing. There will be no fast laps. So it's very, very important to make sure that that engine runs cool. So what are we going to do in this video? Well, my current engine seems like it wants to overheat because the room gets so hot when I'm playing any kind of sim racing game. So I need I needed a bigger chassis that will allow for better airflow. After many reviews, I settled on the Fantex Eclipse G500. Hey, so I'm going to let you join me on this journey as I take my components from this case, my Corsair with all of my goodies inside, into this case, the Fantex Eclipse G500A. Okay, as you can see, there's quite a substantial size difference between these two chassis. In this one, my trusty old Corsair, I've got a RTX 3080 Ti and I have a Ryzen 7 5800X CPU. Now that CPU is known to run very hot. I didn't know that when I bought it. So my PC kept on restarting. I installed water cooling it solved my problem, but this box still gets very hot, heats up my entire room. So I'm hoping, and I believe it will, solve this problem with the Fantex. Now what makes this case so special is, yes, all the space. It's got mesh at the top, nice big mesh at the top, mesh in front where Corsair doesn't have mesh in front. And the Fantex has three, not one, not two, three 140 mil fans in front, which they say are the heat destroyers. When you switch these babies on, they just push the heat straight out. So next step, all these components need to go in here. I'm not going to bore you with the part of taking them out of this box. So,
and there you have it the Fantex Eclipse G500A she's a beauty matte black red fans roomy which allows the air to flow through like an awesome summer breeze but there's one thing left that we still need to do and that is take her for a spin all right so i'm in my seat now this is the sixth time that i'm recording a video my gopro just overheated laps. let's make them count p11 track temp is 41 p11 okay so yeah gopro overheated this is the sixth video that i'm recording if it makes it then yes you'll know this is the sixth one that i have recorded sorry i keep on looking at myself because there's <laughs> there's a screen facing me on the gopro 12 as well i think yeah, the 11 and 10 also has it anyways um let's hope this one does not overheat this time it's five laps donington park 90 percent ai medium ag aggression that's going to be fun because they really medium they're quite aggressive and uh, i'm not a sim race pro but we are here to check out the chassis and how hot it gets in this room and maybe it still gets hot in this room and that's why the bloody gopro overheated anyways let's do this one two three okay Cowley. here we go i'll be chatting to you won't just be a lap to watch yes thank you mr crew chief i know i must go crew chief is fine huh you must really install it if you don't know how ask me i'll tell you let's oh, now i'm not wearing my gloves you know what let's just leave it Oh, by the way, okay, start all day. Time to get to work. I'm not recording this on the same day that I recorded the other footage, so I'm still wearing the same shirt. It smells terrible. My wife's asking me, when are you going to throw that thing in the wash? I said, well, babe, for continuity um, in my videos, I need to wear the same stuff. <laughs> Anyways. Let's see if I can get past these guys. Come on. Did I touch you there a little bit? Ah, now they give me a warning for track limits. Car left. Clear left. Okay. And I touched the volume control. I can't hear my crew chief anymore. Still there. Right side. There we go. Right side. Right side clear. Car right. Clear right. Car left. Clear left. Okay. Seventh position. And you know what, the problem with this Automobilista, you need to finish the whole race in order for you to save your replay. We have to skip to the end. Okay, it's a little bit too wide to touch the grass there. You're out of track limits there. Uh, I didn't get a warning, don't you come with your nonsense. interesting I've got these uh, lights here above me Govi lights there will be a video coming soon and they just decided to turn red I think that happens when it loses connection to my phone or something not 100% sure or lose connection to some up that's not nice what a I know I'm in the middle, but I drove like an idiot. Okay, 
preach. <laughs> Keep my focus, huh? I'll be driving like an idiot. Hitting these guys left and right. Don't worry, I don't play online yet. I won't do that to anyone. Car. Got a love crew, Chief. Your front brakes are getting a bit hot. My front brakes? Oh, well. He's always looking out for you, this guy. Can get annoying sometimes. Come on, come on, come on. Left side. He's still there. Clear left. Good pass. Nice front. The gap to Figueredo ahead is increasing. It's now 2.4 seconds. Come on, man. That's not unsportsmanlike conduct. Just cut the track. But who are we kidding? Donington Park has such nice corners to cut. Okay. Okay. But how nice are these graphics in Automobilista 2? Two laps left. Hopefully, the GoPro will last. Come, GoPro, last. Please don't overheat. I know it's getting hot in this room, but it's not that bad. With this Automobilista, too, man, you gotta give it to the developers. They are looking after this game. They are giving us DLC. Yes, we have to pay for it. Stop crying like a baby over it and just do it already. If you're cheap, wait until uh, Steam has a sale. Then you can get it much cheaper. I've done that. I think I just cut that corner again. No, I didn't. And you know, it's difficult to, to speak or to talk while you are driving. How good does this game look, man? Sometimes I just look at it and I'm like, yes, it looks so real. Am I looking at a video? Am I playing a game? What am I doing? Let's see if I can pass these two legs. Oh, and I did it again. Sorry, boys. Now what are we doing? You're in the middle, three wide. Clear, three wide, you're in the middle. Clear left. Clear all round. Okay, Cowley, the next car is Carlson. Terrible. Please don't judge me. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. B3. They are in track temps decreasing. Air temperature is now 19. Track temperature is now 26. I think this, is our, no, this is the last lap. So. It's a pity, you know, the GoPro can't last that long. Anyways, this is not a video about GoPro, it's a video about how hot my room is getting. And uh, whether there's a massive difference between my old, ch my old chassis and this one. Come on. I want to pass you. I don't know where the winner is or where the leader is. Can't even see him. On your right. I cut that. Right. Oh, no warning there. What are the chances? And the On your left. Good old hairpin. Right. This is the hairpin where you can pass 90% AI. Nice move. Too overzealous. Ah. That's okay. All right, guys, I'm going to switch this off. I can feel the room is hotter, but I'm sure 
that this case is allowing better or more proper cooling of all my components. So, but what will what will a sim racing channel be, or or a channel about racing? What will it be without some racing? Can't just be hey, here's a guy upgrading his PC chassis. But I hope you enjoyed these five laps with me and me rambling on. I promise you I'll get better. Let's just finish this cool down lap. While I'm finishing the cool down lap, I just want to say thanks for joining me. If you've managed to stuck with me this long into the video and into this atrocious race, I thank you. Anyways. Back to the studio. If you manage to last up to this point, I just want to thank you for sticking with me as I moved my components from the one chassis to the other one. I know it can be quite boring and it and can also be a daunting task, but as you can see, it is totally worth it and I can almost say that my engine now purrs like a 1967 Shelby Mustang V8 engine until next time